statement. Uh, I now give the floor to the representative of the Russian Federation. Thank you, President. We would like to thank the Special Coordinator, Nikolai Mladenov, for his briefing. We're grateful to him for the work he has done in the six years he's been at his post. This has, they have, this has been extremely complex years for the Middle East peace process and have required substantial efforts. Unfortunately, not to make progress, but rather to maintain the central role of the UN and the international legal basis for a peaceful solution to the Palestinian question. We wish Nikolai every success in his new endeavours and where we will support him. We, all, we will also be ready to provide all time types of assistance to the new special coordinator on the Middle East peace process. At the same time, we maintain our consistent and principled position in favour of a just solution to the Palestinian quest question based on international law as approved by the UN, including its resolutions, the Arab Peace, Inici peace Initiative and the fundamental principle of two states. This foundation sets forth the creation of an independent, sovereign and territorial con territorially contiguous Palestinian state within the 1967 borders with East Jerusalem as its capital, which lives in peace with Israel. The vote on the annual resolution during the 75th session of the General Assembly clearly showed the, on the continuing international consensus that there is no alternative to this foundation for a solution. All final status issues must be solved during direct negotiations between Palestinians and Israelis. President Abbas reaffirmed his readiness for dialogue under the aegis of the Quartet of International Mediators. We'd call on our partners in the Quartet, the UN, the EU and the USA, to boost their cooperation in, to this end. We're also ready to involve key regional players in this work. We need to pull our efforts and use use the whole potential of our of collective diplomacy. President, we are extremely concerned by the information received as regards implementation of the implementation of Security Council Resolution 2334. As we can see in the Secretary General's report, in October and November, Israeli authorities approved one of the largest plans to construct new housing units, including in Area C and deep into the occupied Palestinian territories. Construction in the region of East Jerusalem threatens to further undermine the ter territorial contiguity as provided by UN resolutions of a Palestinian state. We reaffirm our principal position on the unlawfulness of Israeli settlements in the West Bank. We'd call for the ending of settlement activities as well as a policy for uh, demolishing Palestinian property. We are concerned also by the statistics from the UN, whereby in 2020, 72% more housing was destroyed than last year. At the same time, violence must stop, as should rocket launches into Israeli territory, and also efforts should be pooled to counter the threat of terrorism. Palestinian unity is as relevant as ever. We continue our efforts in this area and we provide assistance uh, to our Egyptian friends. We, what is also required is international steps to address the dire humanitarian situation in the Gaza Strip, including against the, given the backdrop of the coronavirus pandemic. We're very concerned by the information about the difficult financial situation faced by UNRWA. UNRWA's work covers not only the humanitarian dimension, but also the political dimension and has an important stabilizing, stabilizing influence in Palestinian territories and in the Middle East as a whole. The UNRWA leadership is taking steps to increase effectiveness and to reduce overheads. And this is something we should, we should, should be appreciated. Russia will continue to support the agency and we would call on the whole international community to do so too. Thank you very much. I thank the Minister of um, Russian Federation for his statement. 